What's up guys, Peter here back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Mountain Dew Tournament and how to win every game. Yes, there's a pattern I guess a lot of people don't know that the same people are doing every time to win the tournament. And there's kind of actually two parts to this. So make sure you guys smash that like button down below so we can hit 500 likes. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more daily NBA 2K17 content. And let's get right into it. So uh, basically, I'm going to tell you like the most common way people are winning and how to win like pretty much guaranteed every time. And I'm going to tell you a kind of like alternative to it that's probably better uh, that will hopefully let you win. So uh, of course, like Mountain Dew at this point, I would consider it the biggest park event. I mean, Park After Dark, nobody really likes because it's unplayable. People know that it's a failure and that 2K even lies to us saying that, oh, we fixed the servers and it's just even worse. Uh, high rollers you can I guess consider pretty high up there because uh, it's pretty rare but Mountain Dew Tournament gets really uh, people hyped you're playing for a limited boost and especially and you have to like you also have to consider it goes for all of your my players but especially if you have a speed boosting sharpshooter anything that you need to boost in order to speed boost that's gonna really help and that ultimately makes 2k lose money so you would think that they would care uh, how people want but I'm gonna tell you the easiest way and the like the way people are winning the tournament so much and you're seeing the same people up there is sadly boosting. That's how all these people are winning. I know, especially on Xbox, you see the same people up there now. I'm not talking about people like known YouTubers or streamers that actually stream the tournament and even some of them like boost when they do that. But uh, yeah, I'm just talking about in general. Like if you're looking at the top leaderboards for the Mountain Dew Tournament. A lot of people up there that you don't know that don't stream it will actually boost. And you can boost every time. I mean, you can just have the same people play you. Their tokens reset every tournament. So, um, yeah, that's sadly how a lot of people are getting up there in the top 10. A lot of people are getting unlimited boosts. And it's just how it works. I mean, that's how you're going to have to win every time. And also, I mean, it is like it is possible to win without boosting. But you got to remember, more and more people are boosting every weekend. So eventually, there, you can't be boosting. I mean, as long as you get your games done quick, uh, you're going to be up there every time. And it's just really sad that like it's getting to that point. And you would think that 2K would care about that because uh, basically it makes them lose money. So why would they, like there's literally videos of people just obviously boosting on Mountain Dew that 2K just doesn't care about. So I guess they don't care at that point. That's why more and more people are boosting. Uh, they're just like, oh, I mean, if 2K doesn't care, why don't I just boost? So uh, that's sadly how or the most guaranteed way to win at this point. And I wouldn't say this if people were getting banned, but nobody's really getting banned. And also you would think that since like the race for the top rep is over so like 2k isn't caring about like boosting for top rep but i mean boosting for mountain dew tournament like i don't know they just don't have anything really else to worry about in terms of like that so nobody's really gotten banned so that's why i'm just saying that's how you kind of have to win but um also like you got to remember you if you're playing legitly that means you can't lag out you can't have any of your well you could have any some of your teammates lag out but if you're especially if you're playing on like the top court that means that you would have to pick up a new teammate like immediately so i mean playing 2k for five hours without lagging out or any problems like that especially with the servers now it's really hard so i mean that's another benefit to boosting but i don't know just what do you guys think this is just a very big topic now i'm gonna tell you guys like how to win legit now i'm not guaranteeing this because you might just get like your leaderboard just might be full of boosters but uh, if you want to win mountain dew this is super aids and it's just not the i mean it's not the way you're supposed to play but all you gotta run is two glass cleaners preferably mascots they must have their hall of fame badges and then one speed boosting sharpshooter that's all you have to do that's how overpowered brick wall and all that stuff is you just speed boost past double screens and shoot and yeah that's literally what that's what people do on the 25k core and high rollers that's how that's basically the most guaranteed win and even though it's just a complete aids that's just how 2k decided to make their game and i guess that's the most overpowered lineup i don't know it's just the most guaranteed win 
and it'll get games done fast because you're primarily shooting threes but i didn't want to just say oh if you want to win the mountain dew tournament every time you just have to boost because first i don't want to tell you guys to boost this is at your own risk i'm just saying nobody's getting banned for this so that's basically the biggest guaranteed win is more and more people boost but also i want to give you this other method because i mean it's really overpowered and people are still winning without boosting it's just gonna get harder as more people boost so let me know what you guys think do you guys think 2k should do something about the mountain dew tournament just turning into just boosting and uh should they start banning people should they just take the take away the boosts what should they do let me know in the comments but anyway thank you guys for watching again make sure you guys smash that like button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace